The beginning of systems engineering can be said to date back millennia, when civil engineers worked on projects that were complex systems like the Egyptian pyramids and Roman aqueducts. In modern times, some of our great systems include the International Space Station, the automotive industry, and the internet. In the 1940s, World War II paved the way for systems engineers as an essential part in realizing successful systems during the war. Although systems engineers worked without any defined theory, it was clear that utilizing the effectiveness of systems engineering by global militaries and governments in the 1950s, space and nuclear race, systems engineers were finally considered a branch of the engineering community. Founded in 1990, the International Council on Systems Engineering, INCOSI, is celebrating 30 years of successfully applying systems engineering standards and practices as a non-profit global organization with more than 70 chapters in over 35 countries. Because of INCOSI, systems engineering has become an integral part of the ever-changing world that we live in today. INCOSI acts as a focal point for communicating in the development of massive and complex engineered systems that are benefiting humans in not only physical, but psychological, economic, and cultural ways. Using systems engineering principles and concepts from scientific, technological, and management methods, INCOSI is helping solve today's ever-changing challenges. In our 30th year, the world faces our greatest challenge to date with coronavirus. As COVID-19 has the world in a quarantine status, INCOSI members and CAP companies are joining together to systematically address the problem. In COSI is made up of people, professionals that uh, really believe and care about designing the best system. So they really wanted to improve the world and eventually improve the life of, uh, of all the people. We've got millions of components that are being designed uh, to handle what will be billions of data streams, but also having significant organizational complexity where the design is being shared between 250 plus institutions. Uh, so those two things taken together mean there's a serious need to make sure all the pieces fit together and work properly. We look to orchestrate all of the specialist areas to successfully realize a system, by which I mean helping understand the needs and requirements, architecture of the system, which could be physical or could be a system of services or a socio-technical system, bring all the elements together, confirm they meet the requirement and the need, and then successfully transition into operational use. You don't do system engineering by sitting in the corner working on a design all by yourself. You have to get out, you have to talk to people, you have to uh, communicate your ideas, coordinate things, you know, lead teams, and also you know, be able to lead without authority. Systems engineering uh, is the very foundation of our integrated product development methodology and is also uh, uh, the foundation of what we call our social technical system that uh, comprises all the different interfaces, the technologies, the people that come together uh, to tackle uh, on a very complex uh, a challenge. We'll be managing a broader uh, breadth of domains utilizing emerging and new technology. We'll be using human agents and also machine and artificial intelligence and likely the geography will be different. We may be working in other parts of the solar system or beyond. Would probably systems engineering be completely deployed all over the different human aspects, politics, social, environmental, engineering, cultural. When I think about where we will be 30 years from now in systems engineering, I'm naturally optimistic because we have an awareness of the interconnections around us and we have an awareness of our interaction with the environment. Much of the complexity that we deal with is natural complexity and we have new knowledge that equips us for a better future. Interoperability between tools and uh, methodologies like model-based system engineering will just become more advanced uh, in the next videos and I think that there will be a unification of uh, between a, a unification of tools uh, and, and methodologies rather than a proliferation of them. Happy 30th! Happy birthday Nkosi! Happy 30th anniversary from the Wasatch chapter! Happy 30th Nkosi!